coming to hepatitis B, hepatitis B is mainly spread in two different ways. Like whether we get the infection during the birth when the mother is hepatitis B positive and also as I've discussed earlier, all these risk factors, uh, particularly healthcare individuals who are constantly in contact with these patients, they also tend to get hepatitis B quite frequently. If the patient, the infant is contracting the disease directly from the mother at birth, these uh, kids have a chance of having a chronic hepatitis B infection in almost like 30% of the times. So 60 to 70% of the kids will get uh, cured because the immunity will take care of that. So all the, the kids who are born to a hepatitis B patient, they receive immunoglobulins, that is a kind, kind of uh, active immunization at birth so that we can avoid chronic infection in these patients so that the consequences of chronic hepatitis can be avoided in these. Now the Indian government has introduced uh, hepatitis B vaccination in all the newborns. So all the newborns that are born in government sectors or even in private hospitals, they are instructed to give hepatitis B vaccination at birth or within the first 12 hours after the birth. And then at first month, at the completion of first month and at the completion of six months. So three doses of hepatitis B vaccine is recommended. Sometimes we will come club this even with the DPT vaccine so that uh, it is taken at a regular schedule. So this will help us prevent hepatitis uh, infection. Once the patient has was given hepatitis B virus infection, the chances of uh, getting infection again is very, very less. So within the first five years, if they have adequately developed antibodies, the chances is less than 10%. And within 10 years, it is less than 50%. So it's very important for us to get vaccinated at birth for all the kids. Whereas in adults, it's a different scenario. If they haven't taken any vaccination earlier, what we usually do is uh, we check the hepatitis B antibodies. If the antibodies are not adequate, we will ask the patients to get hepatitis B vaccination. Again, it's the same thing. You do on one dose on day zero, second dose on day 30, and third dose on day 180. So this vaccination process, patient with uh, good immunity should be able to develop adequate antibodies. Sometimes they won't develop uh, adequate antibodies, then they might, might be asked to take another dose of uh, uh, hepatitis B vaccination. So if we look at the elders, almost 99% of these patients will fight with the virus uh, actively and they won't be having any problems in the future. But 1% of these patients will turn into chronic active hepatitis, which will lead to cirrhosis in the long term. Cirrhosis basically means there is a structural and functional damage to the liver to the point where it won't be doing its function normally. So uh, these patients might end up with a liver transplantation in the future. When we have other risk factors, particularly uh, diabetes or obesity with fatty liver, or if the patient is taking alcohol regularly, the chances of this cirrhosis is uh, much higher. And these patients tend to get cirrhosis very early in life, and they will need a liver transplantation uh, at a very younger age. Uh, putting everything together, and again, uh, looking at the cirrhosis, cirrhosis itself is a risk factor for liver cancers. So patients with hepatitis B have a higher tendency of uh, getting liver cancers compared to general public. So it's very important uh, for us uh, to treat hepatitis at the earliest.